Since the 1800s, Washington, D.C. has been the center of America's political universe. But that hasn't always been the case. In fact, D.C. didn't exist when the American colonies declared their independence and set up their first government. So what was the first U.S. capital? Seems like a pretty straightforward question, but the answer is more complicated than you might think. The first city that could make that claim is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the years just before the Revolutionary War, Philadelphia was the biggest leading city in colonial America, with a population of some 40,000. The Continental Congress, the governing body of the 13 rebellious American colonies, convened there for the first time in September 1774. And it was there that they signed the Declaration of Independence in July 1776. So Philadelphia is the birthplace of American independence, but was it the first U.S. capital? Not if you ask York, Pennsylvania, which has been billing itself as the first capital since the 1960s. Was York, known for its namesake peppermint patty candy, really the first U.S. capital? The Continental Congress did meet there for nine months in 1777 and 1778 after fleeing Philadelphia to avoid attack by British forces. It was in York, then a town of 1,800 residents, that the delegates adopted the Articles of Confederation, America's first constitution. When the British withdrew from Philadelphia in June 1778, however, Congress left York and returned to its original meeting place. Under the Articles of Confederation, it would move four more times to Princeton, New Jersey, Annapolis, Maryland, Trenton, New Jersey, and finally, New York City. In 1787, delegates dumped the troublesome articles and wrote a permanent constitution, which, for the first time, provided for a permanent national capital. Not York, not Philadelphia, but New York, which was well on its way to becoming the nation's largest city. In March 1789, the first session of the U.S. Congress met in Federal Hall on Wall Street. Congress wrote the Bill of Rights there, and George Washington was inaugurated there in April 1789. But in 1790, much to the dismay of New Yorkers, Congress voted to move its operations to Philadelphia until a new permanent capital could be built. Congress met for the first time in its new home on November 17, 1800, and has remained there ever since.